People have been doing single thread computing, having one processor running one task at a time, and that's worked great. But then we hit a frequency wall, and then we hit a memory bottleneck, and things just stopped. So what we've seen for the last year, really performance hasn't improved as much as it should. We're now stalling, and if we don't do anything about it, all those great strides we made in the last 30 years, when things would get better every single year, they're going to stop. And the answer to that is parallel computing. It's the only way to really scale in terms of energy efficiency, performance, and cost. I've been in the chip industry for 15 years, founded a company in 2008 called Adaptiva, and we've been designing parallel chips, and that's what we do. We're hardware designers. We love designing chips, low power, they're simple, easy to use. We've been doing this for four years now. We've had great traction in government labs, corporate labs, universities. The obstacles to really make parallel programming ubiquitous and everywhere is you need available hardware that's parallel. That's the first step. It needs to be open so that people can really study it and understand it. It can't be a black box that you give some work to and just does things magically. And with time, things have gotten more and more closed down. When you close down the system, really what you're asking for is for a company to do all the work for you or most of the work for you. You get a sandbox to play with and basically are told, don't try to think, don't try to innovate and make it better. If you do open up the architecture, somebody will come up with a, a better way of doing things. It's worked great for open source software, right? I mean, over the years, and we want to do the same thing for hardware. If you're going to have a very expensive platform that's closed source, uh, that is tied with NDAs, then you're only going to reach a very, very small audience. We're going to provide a $99 kit uh, that's going to be completely open. Open source tools, free tools, lots of performance. Uh, and we think that's really going to enable the next level of computing and educate the masses of how to do parallel programming. With this kind of processor, I can really stretch the kind of research we're doing, implementing, say, optic flow or uh, visual information rel relating to changes in the visual input as you move around. If the hardware is not powerful enough, the frame rate at which you can uh, calculate the image is it's too low for a robot, for instance, to navigate efficiently in the environment. So having lots of powerful processor will give us the chance to implement uh, optic flow, object recognition, navigation, path planning, higher cognitive functions, a variety of things that today we cannot even dream of because there is not enough computing power. Our first audience are the developers, the guys who really want to study parallel programming, maybe the guys who want to create a great application but doesn't have the performance to do it today in an embedded environment. But you know, the second tier after that is the guy who just wants an awesome computer for $99 that has more performance than anything else out there. We've had lots of people interested in our platform, but our price point has turned them away. Thousands of dollars today is too much for somebody to do research. Everybody is constrained by cost, by their funding. Anybody should be able to afford a $99 kit if they're doing research. The big thing about bringing, making the kit cheap enough is this idea of producing a chip in, in volume. And for that, we need money. So we've built prototypes today that are fully functional products but we just don't have the tooling, the factories set up to produce these things for a couple of dollars. Today, they cost a few hundred dollars. With this funding, we can bring it down to a couple of dollars per chip. If you want this platform, we're asking you to basically pledge to the Kickstarter project, and that's going to enable this to bring our price point down to $99 and really make an open platform. In return, for that favor, we're going to open source all our software, give it away for free, and open up all our documents and architecture and re reference manuals on the web. Getting the platform out there, we can put it in anybody's hands to innovate, to solve the parallel computing problem together.